Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and guess who got some gelatos? That would be me. Now, um, I had turned on my camera and then uh, it was on for five seconds and then turned off for some reason, and then it went off, like it went into standby mode. I was like, what is going on? So I had to turn it back on. But um, you didn't really miss much. <laughs> so what I'm doing here is I am taking a piece of white cardstock and I'm just playing with them, literally. I got a pack of four at uh, Michael's and they're like a tropical color. Um, the colors are watermelon, raspberry, margarita mix, and snow cone. Um, and basically what I'm doing is I'm just taking the gelatos and I'm kind of playing with them on this cardstock. I didn't prep the cardstock with anything, it's just plain white cardstock. And um, I'm just rubbing them on to the paper and just using a wet paintbrush and going over them. So I'm just making, um, just testing them out, seeing how they look. And um, I, I let that dry throughout the day. And then I come back later that night. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a heart punch, the Martha Stewart heart punch, and I'm going to punch out a whole bunch of hearts. So the reason I am doing this page is number one, it is a challenge that Victoria Marie issued on her new Facebook group. And it's Victoria Marie FB group if you want to look it up on Facebook and she will add you. Um, but she had a challenge where she said to document something about yourself and to use a new either product or technique or just something you haven't done before. So uh, obviously what I haven't done before is gelatos. I had not played with them yet. I got them and they still sat there and stared at me <laughs> because I'm a little intimidated by them. But I finally got them out and used them. And then the about me part is this picture of a Starbucks cup of coffee that I got as a free thing for my birthday because I am a gold star card member at Starbucks and so every year on my birthday I get a free drink and I always take advantage of that for sure. So I snapped a picture of it and I actually turned it into black and white. It is a red cup so that's why the cup is so dark uh, but I turned it to black and white because I'm using all of these different colors on the layout so I didn't want the colors of the picture to be competing with the hearts, if that makes any sense at all. Um, and I'm also using a, an image on Pinterest as my inspiration here, and I'll pull it up and show you here in a second what it is. It's a whole bunch of hearts just kind of in a collage all around. And that's a print that I found on Pinterest that I really liked. And um, it's an idea that I got from Shamel Lane's um, class that she's teaching on her blog. If you go to her blog, it's uh, chanel.com, and um, she opened up a class that has a whole bunch of uh, Two Peas Garden Girls are contributing to it, and it's called Inspired By, and Paige Evans was one of the contributors, and she showed a layout where she used a print image from Pinterest as her inspiration, and I loved that. So I went right to Pinterest, just looked up prints and found that heart one and I pinned it and so I'm going to use that as my inspiration here on this layout. So if you want to check out that class, it's really great. There's 10 videos from, um, let's see, nine different ladies because Shamel has two videos and then there's um, there's eight more others from, from different people. So uh, it's really good. I really like it. I'll be making a few pages from that inspiration so I'll let you know when I'm doing one. Um, so what I'm doing with these hearts is I'm taking some Prima Chalk Ink, which is in the color Tin Can, and I'm just rubbing all along the outsides of the hearts. That just kind of helps them give a little bit more definition, especially since I'm going to be layering them and kind of scattering them everywhere. So I want them to you know, be able to stand out instead of blend in. So let's talk about papers. Papers I'm using. Um, the background paper is from Crate Paper. That's from a big paper pack that I got super cheap at Michael's. Um, the blue 6x6 paper is from Heidi Swap from one of her 6x6 pads. And uh, the pink polka dot is like a, it's just a scrap. I don't have a manufacturer for it, so I'm not sure exactly who makes that paper. And then um, 
the cardstock was just white cardstock from my stash that I got cheap, probably at Joanne or Michael's or something like that. So, um, this took a lot of time. It really did. <laughs> so, uh, but it was fun. It was a little therapeutic, actually. I'm watching Bones right now, and so I just kind of watch it and inking and watching it inking, and then here soon I'm going to be watching and gluing and watching and gluing. <laughs> It was fun though, I enjoyed it. And I really liked the way the layout turned out, so. I'm kind of trying to spread the colors around a little bit too. I didn't want a whole bunch of one color, you know, in one area. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these layers stuck down in the back because I know that, I know where I want those to go. And then I'll kind of do the hearts um, as I start gluing them down. Uh, so I put the things at a little bit of an angle and then the picture is straight. So I am using this coffee cup stamp that I got recently from Stamping Up. I love that coffee stamp. Oh, it's so cute. It's kind of sketchy almost. Oh, I love it. And I'm using a technique that I saw Sandra do. And on YouTube, she's called Oh Snap Gonzo on her channel. And so she stamped the full image, um, which is what I'm cutting out here. And then she stamped a little, like kind of the top portion on a piece of white cardstock and then another portion on a craft card stock, and then she layered the stamps. So it looks like it's all one stamp, but then there's a white top to the coffee cup and a khaki um, or a craft, what are those called? The sleeves that you put around the middle so you can hold it without burning your fingers. <laughs> so um, I am copying her technique and I'm doing that here. So it looks like it's a pink um, coffee cup with a white lid and a craft center. I really, really like the way it turned out. I love that stamp, seriously. I wanna stamp it on everything. <laughs> I just love it so much. I don't know why I'm such a sucker for coffee stamps. I have so I have a few of them. I just love them. So yeah, I, I really like the way that turned out. And I'm going to add this pink paper clip which is an arrow, and I got that at two peas in a bucket when they were open, which they no longer are. And I'm gonna keep referring back to that image, especially as I'm putting things down just to make sure I'm getting the same feel. So I'm using these Studio Calico Vellum numbers, and that is from my Poet Society kit that I'm working through currently. And all I have left in there are numbers, so I pulled out a three and a six, and I'm gonna use those for my 36th birthday. And I'm trying to find a little at sign. And I thought I had one in that Heidi Swap um, package, but I didn't have one. So I, I must've used it on something that I don't remember. Um, so I'm gonna get out a package of thickers here from my um, October hip kit and I'm gonna use that because I'm gonna use those thickers as part of the title as well and it has an at sign in it. So I'm gonna stick that down there as well. And those thickers are a black glitter and they're called Journal. And I got them in my October hip kit. And now I'm kind of just placing things kind of where I think I want them to go. There's really no rhyme or reason to it, I'm just layering. And I wanted to make sure I got some of the hearts stuck down, especially around where the title is going to be because I'm going to put the words of the title over some of the hearts. So I figured this was the best time to get the hearts stuck down. And I am going to use my quick dry adhesive to get all those hearts down. So there's a little at sign. I'm going to go ahead and get my numbers stuck down here. Now I just use my ATG gun to put those down. And I thought about using my roller tape to get the hearts stuck down, but seriously, it would have used up so much of it and so I was like you know what I have this bottle here I need to use it <laughs> and at first it's pretty messy I'm still trying to get used to the bottle um, this is my first bottle of quick dry adhesive so I'm still kind of trying to get used to using it and the flow of it and everything so I had to go get a baby wipe to wipe my fingers off a little bit eventually I get the hang of it and it's not too bad <laughs> I don't get it on my fingers too much but I didn't want too much of it peeking out either. I know it dries pretty matte. It's, it's not like screaming at you, but 
Um, that wood veneer banner is from Freckled Fawn, and I have it sitting on my desk. Trying to, I have one more of those banners, and I'm trying to use up. So, just something I'm trying to get through. So now I'm going to be gluing and watching bones, and gluing and watching, and gluing and watching. <laughs> I'm getting some of my fingers. <laughs> I'm really enjoying Bones. I'm on the first season right now. I don't know how many episodes I'm through though yet. I might be almost halfway through the first season. Um, but since my husband has been home, I haven't been scrapbooking quite as much. And so therefore I haven't been watching TV shows quite as much. I'm so behind on the stuff that I'm currently watching too, like the things that are on TV right now that I'm normally caught up on, I'm so behind. And he actually mentioned that last night because all the shows that we watched together were completely caught up on. Because when he sits down, you know, naturally we choose something that we watch together. And he made a comment uh, last night, actually. He said, you're so behind on all your shows and it's all because of me. And I was like, well, you're more important. He was like, no, watch your shows. I'm like, okay. So <laughs> I got to start working on that. My DVR is getting a little too full right now. <laughs> that and I watch too many shows. I really do. It's ridiculous. But I love them. So I'm almost done with these hearts. I also have that other banner, that little triangle banner that says yay on it. And that is also from Freckled Fawn. Something sitting on my desk trying to get through. I had a lot of fun with those gelatos too. They did intimidate me though. I'm just not super artsy like that, but it was fun. Just kind of picking up some of the glue spots that are showing. And I'm going to get my title done here. So my title is going to be Coffee at 36. So that's what I got for my 36th birthday. Get my coffee cup stuck down here. And I'm going to use all these little um, asterisks that came on the thickers package. Just kind of scatter them around a little bit on the um, hearts. Just kind of helps bring in that black a little bit more. And I have a little just piece of vellum from um, I think it's from Doodlebug that came in my Poet Society Studio Calico kit, and it was just kind of sitting there. So I was like, eh, it's a little piece. I'll just stick it on here. <laughs> So I did, just a little layer. So I'm adding some lines to do my journaling and I'm gonna go along the angle of this pink polka dot paper. And I'm just gonna journal about how I love the fact that Starbucks gives their members, um, their card members free coffee on their birthday and it doesn't matter what size you get so I always get a venti. That's always, that's kind of the only time I really get that large of a coffee from Starbucks is when it's free. <laughs> And this year I got my pumpkin spice latte. And that is going to complete my layout. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you'll probably see some more gelatos coming up for me here soon. Have a great day guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.